back to my channel. Today's look is on this look right here. It's like a soft pink glowy look and summer's coming so actually it's already here. Yeah, so I was inspired by this palette, Anastasia's Beverly Hills Shadow Couture palette and I love all these colors in here. Anastasia, it's such a beautiful brand. I love their liquid lipsticks, their I actually haven't tried their highlighters yet, but I've tried their I have their palettes. And one of the colors that I love from this palette is the pink champagne. So beautiful, you guys. It's gorgeous. So if you guys want to see me use that shadow and want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hi guys. Welcome to this, my channel and starting off I'm using my MAC Fix Plus foundation and I totally forgot what color this was because when I did the voiceover I had already thrown out the bottle and this was the first MAC foundation that I ever bought. So I'm applying this all over my face and then I'm going to take a beauty blender to blend it everything to blend everything out I just love using the blue the sorry <laughs> the beauty blender because it just gives you like a nice airbrush finish and it blends everything so smoothly and it gives you like a nice canvas to work with and I like to blend that down to my neck so I don't People don't think I'm wearing like a crazy mask, but anyways, um, then I go in my with my NARS Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, and I really like love this concealer because it makes your face look so flawless. Like, oh, I just oh, I love it. <laughs> and then I go in with my Tarte Contour Stick, and I do this on my forehead, my cheekbones, the sides of my nose, and I like to do it under my lips as well. Then I'm blending this out, and I just love the way that it looks with the beauty blender. It just makes the under eye look so smooth. And yes, I love it. <laughs> and I like to blend the highlight first before I do the contour. The con the before I blend out the contour. Yes, and here I am singing to the camera. We all do it. Don't judge. <laughs> then I'm taking my powder and I'm just gonna set my uh, concealer. And you wanna set this ASAP because if you don't, then you get wrinkles under your eyes. And we don't want that. So I like to set my concealer and I like to set everything except the contour. I do that after. Taking my Kiko bronzer and taking my Morphe brush and I'm just gonna do where I have place the contour and I love this brush because you can use it for literally I use this brush for everything I use it to contour you saw me using it to apply my powder for my highlight you can also use it to use your um, other highlighters and yeah I love I love this brush you can use it for so many things And I'm wiping it, the rest of the um, excess powder with the big powder fluffy brush, and it, it just, the skin looks so radiant, and I just love doing the highlighting and contouring. Then I'm going in again because I like to see a very dramatic contour line. I, I I go back in and I darken it just a little bit just because I like to see cheekbones on my face and then I'm taking a NARS blush and it's just a really mauve pink blush it's nothing too crazy 
and then blending it out with the fluffy powder brush. Then I'm going in with Anastasia's Beverly Hills Dip Brow um, Pomade in the color Ebony. And I'm also using their um, angled brush, brow, bar, brow brush. Oops. <laughs> and I'm taking this and I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I love this. Like, I feel like if you have the brush and the product, it just does it for you. I'm brushing it out with the spoolie just so there's no harsh lines on my eyebrow. Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and I love this palette, oh my god, look at these colors. But before I do that, I'm taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal, the 24 hour eyeshadow and this color is called Inked and Pink and I'm using this as a base before I apply my pink champagne and it's this color right here. So beautiful let me swatch it for you so you can see can you see that yes and then I'm taking a shade of Russia and I'm just applying that oh my god I love it <laughs> so then I'm taking this and I'm applying this on my eyelid on top of the inked and pink uh, tattoo color shadow and it just creates a beautiful I don't know I just love it and then I'm taking intense glaze and on a fluffy brush and applying that to my crease and I think I there was so much on the brush so then I went in with another brush that didn't have like anything on it and I blended that out and you'll see me doing this here. So I'm taking this brush with no product and I'm just blending that out and then going in with Morocco and applying that on my lower lash line. And I'm not really using too many shadows here, it's like very simple very simple eye look. The main look is just the pink and the lashes. And it just creates a beautiful, beautiful makeup. I'm taking soft beach and I'm just applying that under my brow bone. And it's gonna like blend out the crease shadow that we applied the intense glaze color. Then taking my absolute favorite lashes, House of Lashes, and taking the bottom lashes called Precious. The top ones are iconic, the bottom lashes are Precious, and I just love this combo. I saw Crispy wearing this combo, and like I just loved it on her, so I'm like, yes, I gotta do it on me. So, and I love the way that it looks. And I'm taking mascara, and I'm just blending the fake one, my fake lashes with my real ones. And if you guys are wondering, the contacts that I'm wearing are from Dezio. I don't remember the name that it's called, but yeah. I think it was like Mint Touch. And then I'm taking white on my waterline, and I'm applying that. And then going in with Mauve by NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going in with this pencil liner and aligning my lips. I'm creating little divots or lines because in between I'm going to go in with that same white liner that I applied on my waterline just to give it me a more puckered effect. But then I was like, nah, I don't want a matte look. I want a glossy look. So I just covered it with lip gloss. And this is by Lorac. It, any soft pink lip gloss will do. You can keep the matte, but I wanted like a glossy effect. So that's what I did. Then my favorite illuminator, Mary, Lum Ma Mary Luminizer, and look at that shine, like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. That's crazy. So I'm taking my fan brush, and this too is by Morphe, this brush, and I'm applying that to my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, above my eyebrow, like a C around my cheekbone and my above my eyebrow. I 
like to cook some underneath my babble too. And then I'm just putting it on my nose and my bridge of my nose. And I just love the glow you get with this illuminator or highlighter. And that's it guys. I hope you love this look and if you guys did like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.